So, uh, if we are too ambitious, you know, with many things, what if this desire to have more and more of this peace within is also just one ambition? Not necessarily. Yeah, going back home is not an ambition, it's a necessity. Otherwise, where will you sleep? This is your rightful home. Absolute peace. If you keep on going back there, you will start experiencing that peace. Then even if you go out, if you have to do everything outside, nothing will touch you. Because you know where to go back. Many, many, many people are restless because they can't find their way home. That's why. So, um, Plato says, Plato says that uh, if you have found light, show one person that light, your job is over. This is it. So the, the highest gift any master can give to any disciple is freedom. This is freedom. And freedom is something which sits inside us, not outside us. Even if uh, some, some people like, uh, uh, my favorite example is Nelson Mandela, Mahatma Gandhi. They were inside the prison for many years, but they were not affected at all. They wrote, they did so many things, and when they came out, they only talked about peace, no war, no hatred. Why? Because they were already free inside. So this, this is something which we must always remember. Freedom is our birthright and this sits inside us. Then why are we not feeling it? No. no. Fear is only in the waking state. But there is something else which is not allowing us to experience freedom. Fear is only when you are awake. When you are in deep sleep, you don't know fear. Right? It should be something which is there forever. So, uh, the aspect which keeps us away from freedom is our mind. Waking 
we have had various masters. Every time, if you look at the history of mankind, a lot of masters have come and told us, this is what you experience is not you. Find yourself. Most masters, the same message, find yourself. Jesus said, me and my father are one. That means the creator, creator and the creation are one. So he realized it and he's telling, now you find it. You find yourself. Find yourself as the creator as well as the creation. So time and again masters have come and told us the same thing. But we still do not understand and we crucify the masters. <laughs> Mladji kaže, od rejnih vremena pa do danas postavljali su razni majstori koji su uvek iz sebe isijavali tu poruku, spoznaj samog sebe. Kaže, to recimo Hrist je govorio, moj otac i ja smo jedno. Što je to stvarno značilo? Da je kreacija i kreator su jedno. To je došlo duboko iz njegove spoznaje, to nisu samo prazne reči. I kaže, šta mi radimo sa majstorima kad oni to iskažu sebe, obično ih razapnemo ili ih otvorimo ili budištimo, ali to je istina. And the mind makes us believe that we are very powerful. We are doing a lot of things in this world. Kaže, naš um nam daje taj neki lažan osjećaj da mi puno toga radimo u svetu, da smo mi jako moćni na ovaj način. Do you believe it? that we are doing a lot of things in this world. If you are doing all this, then who is doing your heartbeat? Who is doing your circulation? Blood circulation? Who is doing your digestion? Who is doing your mental waves? What is controlling? Mind cannot control any of this. Mind is totally helpless when it comes to the systems of the body. You know, the kidneys, the pancreas, all the organs functioning beautifully. Why? <laughs> How can the mind control them? Kaže, taj naš um nam daje raz razne iluzije, da mi nešto, da su, da mi držimo stvari pod kontrolom, ja, da mi nešto radimo, da, da su mi neke face, što bi mi rekli srpsko. Ali u suštini, kao, samo da pogledamo, je ima um veze sa tim, je um kontroliše otkud se srca, cirkulaciju krvi, ne znam, rad moždanih talasa. Um, um naš uopšte nema nikakvu na kontrolu na tim, a to su nam upravo najvažnije stvari za naše postojanje. Ko to radi? I odakle to radi? Ne iz uma. Just imagine if mind is controlling the heartbeat. Sometimes we forget to go to toilet. We forget to beat the heart finished. Kaži, ne daj Bože da naš um kontroliše otkud se našeg srca. Pa mi se nekad ne, um nam ne da da idemo na vremen i na toalet. Ili zaboravimo da odemo u toalet i ako nam telo daje taj signal. Zamisli kad bi mi morali se setimo svaki put da nam srce otkuca, pa onda bi svi pomrli. So the uh, awareness that we could develop is that from all the activities that we do, like we are talking, be with your talk. Let the mind be with the words you talk. Don't just talk, 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 talk. <laughs> right? When you keep doing that, mind is absent. Then you are talking nonsense. <laughs> but when you are talking with your mind present, it will be only what is needed to be spoken. This is one of the secrets. I sad kaže, evo učimo kako da se mi nosimo sa ti našim umom. Umom, kao pod broj jedan kad nešto pričamo, neka svaka ta reč bude propraćena našim umom i našom pažnjom. Da ne blablačemo onako nevezano, tako ne znam li šta smo rekli, ni se sećemo skroz nesvesno, nego da budemo prisutni našim umom sa svakom rečju koja izađe kroz usta. Likewise, we do so many activities. You know, we do so many activities, especially those who smoke, etc. They don't even remember that they're smoking. They keep smoking. Uh, so when you, if you are smoking, be with the smoke, uh, cigarette fully. You know, just be fully experiencing a cigarette. You will reduce your smoking to half or less than half. Because your mind is always away when you are smoking. Usually. You know, I'm not telling you to smoke. Don't think like that. If you are smoking. Or if you are having a tea, be with the tea, experience the taste, you know, flow with the flavor, you know, enjoy it. If you do all your activities with your mind present, what will, what will happen? You will be in control of the activities. Kaže Monđi, jako, jako važno trenirati se da budemo prisutni sa našim aktivnostima. Kaže, recimo pušači, oni od vas koji pušite. 
Smetat ćete kad pušete da večete ono duvamo dim ili uvlačimo i duvamo dim i cigarete, a stalno um negdje ide drugde, jel? I biti održljivo kao neko vrsto puštanje ili prilikom puštanja i stara se još veća adikcija. Kaže, garantuju vam da ćete bar za duplo, ako ne više, smanjiti svoje potrebu za cigaretom, ako ste prisutni svakog momenta sa svakim dimom koji ulazi u pluće i izlazi iz pluća. Znači, samo ta prisutnost, kad pijemo čaj, da smo prisutni sa svakim gutljajem, znači da svedoči um sve te najmanje aktivnosti. U tome treba da se trenira. When you start being present with your activities and your words, slowly, slowly you will start experiencing your breathing. You will start experiencing your heartbeat. You will start experiencing the whole system functioning. This is how various great masters connect to their body and go beyond the body. To bring yourself into the body, first you need to be bringing yourself, means your mind should be with the activity, with the words. And then later on you will start experiencing the whole flow of life. It doesn't mean that you will stop interacting with the world and go to Himalayas or some cave. It's not that. We'll be in the, in the, in the society. But all the time we are experiencing life. We are feeling life, not doing life. Na proces buđenja svesti, više svesti u nama, počinje sa osvešćivanjem. Mađe kaže, moramo da osvestimo, znači aktivnosti tela. I kao, evo sad je govorio o, recimo, rečima, pa onda sadačimo misli, pa onda sadačimo pokrete tela. Pa učimo polako da osvešćimo disanje i polako sve te procese u telu samo svedočimo otkuce srca. Znači, da treniramo naš um da polako se uposli tim svedočenjem. To je skroz jednostavna tehnika. Kaže, tako su svi majstori došli do tog nivoa svedočenja sebe iznutra i bili su skroz prisutni sa telom da su mogli da prevazeđu te zakone i da se popnu svešću iznad tela, da vojno izađu, vojno se vrate, da kontrolišu, na primjer, određene procese u telu. Sve to dolazi prvo sa tim svedočenjem procesa u telu Likewise, um, we, we are aware of all the activities, all the words, everything when we are awake, when we are in the waking state. When you are conscious about your waking state totally, even it will go beyond your waking state to the dream state. Even when you are sleeping, you will not fall into sleep, you will slide into sleep, you will float into sleep. I on kaže, kako budete vežbali to svedočenje u budnom stanju uma, počet će da vam se preliva to i u drugo ovo stanje, stanje sna. I vidjet ćete da ćete jednostavno da kliznete svešću u stanje sna, svesno pređete u san. I to je moguće, jel? Jer počne da se preliva, jel kako vežbamo dalje da budemo svesni i da svešćimo, tako i taj stadijum se desi. This is the secret. Very simple. So where do you start? Where do you start? Now. Start now. Start with your words. Thoughts are not difficult, easy to control because you do not know what you are going to think next. Kaže, znači gdje da se rezimiramo, odakle počinjemo, počinjemo u sljedećem trenutku od naših reči. Da budemo svesni svake reči. Ne možemo odno biti svesni svih misli, jer je jako teško kontrolisati misli. Nemo kontrolu dakle oni izviruju, misli samo gdje ne se pojave. Ali bar možemo početi od svesnovanja reči, čim nešto izgovorimo, svesno to izgovorimo. And when you are, and when you are doing anything, make sure your mind is here. Just think for a moment, am I concentrating? Is, where is my mind? Just think for a moment each time. You know, it's easier for a city like here, it's not much crowded. But when you are in a bus of a place like New York, etc., it's easy to be absent-minded, not concentrating. So, use this chance, you know, the city helps you. Kaže, ti imate sreće na živjeti u velikom gradu kao što je New York, gde su ljudi isto više povučeni na sve strane, milijon dešavanja i milijon ljudi i stalno ih uče se ka spolja. Velika je prednost biti ovako u manjem gradu da imate više vremena da budete sa sobom i da se trenira tvojom osvešćivanju. Znači, svesno izgovoramo reči i šta god da radimo, sad dok ja pričam, malo mi se ruka pomera, svesna sam da mi se ruka pomera. Znači, najmanji pokret tela 
uvek da vedemo u sebe to prisustvo uma sa svakom radnjom, sa svakim pokretom tela i u tome se treniramo što god da radimo. To je jako, jako važno. To je kao neka meditacija u pokretu otvorenih oči. Or the most potential investment anybody can do in one lifetime is in awareness. Kažem, upravo o tome caka, znači to, biti svestan, to je odlično što se to desilo. Kažem, znate koja je najbolja investicija u vašoj životu koju ikada možete imati, to je ulog u vašu svest, ulaganje novca ili energije. Awareness means being conscious of your consciousness. This is awareness. Means you are being conscious all the time. When I'm talking, I'm conscious. When I'm when I'm not talking, I'm conscious. Uh, every every time, the consciousness never changes. Uh, probably you can see the video later. Uh, Mohanji consciousness is on YouTube. One scientist has done an experiment, and you can see some of the slides there. So you, the how the brain works. It's uh, it's uh, pictures are given there. Tu, do, do tog stadiju trebamo doći. Kaže, ima jedan a, video na YouTube-u, ako ugucite na engleskom, Mohanji Consciousness. I tu a, jedan naučnik je snimio kako recimo njegova svest radi i kako u momentu u sekundi možda se isključi od uma i izgleda kao da je telo mrtvo, samo treće oko je dlanova ima i malo energije. Inače, ga, kao da ga uopšte nema. Znači, samo isključi dume. Ja? <laughs> Tako da mi svi to možemo. Samo što? 